Thanks. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2012 Toyota 4Runner with a 4.0 liter engine in it. This should be the same, if not very similar, to all 5th gen Toyota 4Runners. That's going to be 09 to present, so about 2019 year models with this dual VV Ti 1G R F E motor in it. We are going to be covering a lot of emissions components in this vehicle. Real fast, getting started, right here on top of the engine on the driver's side is going to be the PCV valve right here and here we go your positive crankcase ventilation valve also known as your PCV this valve allows blow by and condensation built up in the crankcase to flow through the intake and combustion process and through the exhaust and catalytic converter a faulty PCV valve could cause a code such as P0171 to come up in the computer which is a lean code here is your PCV valve. While we're here on top, right next to the PCV valve, we're going to be finding the canister vent purge solenoid. Simply lift the engine cover and you'll find it. Your right canister here. purge solenoid is a solenoid used by the computer to allow emissions vapors to flow into the intake manifold and flow through the combustion process to be burnt out the tailpipe through the catalytic converter. Your purge solenoid can cause codes such as P0496 and P0441, P0443 and P0445. If any of these codes were to come on, I would start thinking this purge solenoid is at fault or the wiring that controls it could be at fault as well. This is your canister purge solenoid. Like I said, not everything is easy to find or get to when it comes to emissions components. These were the easy ones on this vehicle. We're gonna find the oxygen sensors on this vehicle and that is gonna be a little tough to get to, or those are gonna be a little tough to get to. Your pre-cat oxygen sensors are both right off the exhaust manifold. First you'll find, here is your bank one, sensor one, oxygen sensor, or possibly air fuel ratio sensor. Look for a link in the description below to purchase if you need one. Hopefully you got some really skinny hands and arms to get in there if that oxygen sensor needs to be replaced. Just as hard and not easy to find is gonna be your bank two oxygen sensor. This one's located right off the exhaust manifold again. It's a lot easier to see from the bottom looking up. Looking at both these oxygen sensors, I'm not sure how you're going to get these replaced. And if you do need to replace them, good luck. But here is your bank to sensor one. Here is your bank to sensor one oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. Pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors or lambda sensors measure the amount of air to fuel ratio in the exhaust stream coming from the combustion process through the exhaust stream. With this reading, the computer knows how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to create the perfect combustion air to fuel ratio. A bad oxygen sensor can cause poor fuel economy and also if you have a heater circuit malfunction code such as a P0135 or a P0141 I would start thinking or suspect your oxygen or lambda sensor to be at fault. If you have a lean or rich code I would at that time start my diagnosis to find a leak in the vacuum system or the exhaust system that the computer cannot fix by giving or taking away fuel from the combustion process. These are your pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors. That's enough of your pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensors. Let's find... Here is the location of bank 2 sensor 2 oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. 
link in the description to purchase one as well if needed. Right on the other side of the transmission, you're going to find the bank one, center two. Here is the location of your bank one, center two, oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor. If you need one, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase. Check one, two. Post catalytic converter oxygen sensors or lambda sensors are on your vehicle to measure the air to fuel ratio coming out of your catalytic converter. These want to see a wavelength that is stuck in one position, not switching from rich to lean. If it sees a rich to lean switch in your exhaust stream, the computer will think your catalytic converter is faulty. If you have a P0420 or P0421 or P0422, those codes let you know that catalytic converter is not performing at its optimum level. Those codes could be from a poor catalytic converter or from this oxygen sensor being at fault. If you have a heater circuit malfunction with this oxygen sensor or lambda sensor, I would suspect the sensor itself is bad and replace that at this time. This is your post catalytic converter oxygen sensor or lambda sensors. That does it for all the oxygen sensors. Next we're going to move on to your vapor canister. But first, before we get too far into it, make sure you like, subscribe, and share while you're watching this. If you need any of the parts shown in this video, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase those parts. If you have any questions or if you're chasing any codes, make sure you comment below with the year, make, model, and engine size and the code that you're chasing. Moving on to the vapor canister, we're going to be looking on top of your spare wheel. Right here, you'll see the bottom side or back side of your vapor canister. I'll show you a better view in just a moment. But here we have the... Here is your fuel vapor canister, or also called your charcoal canister. It is an emissions control device that traps vapors from the EVAP system and sends them to the fuel tank for later use, if it's working properly. They very rarely go bad. This is your fuel vapor canister. You can see it's tucked up in there really well. If you need to gain access to it, make sure you remove that spare wheel and you should have a little bit better or more room to gain access. You'll also find the vent solenoid up here. I didn't get a good shot of it, so you're not going to see it in this video. But here is the front side of the vapor canister. You can see the hose going in and out of it. These will go to the ambient vent solenoid. If this video did help you out, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Check out these videos right here. They might help you out on your further diagnosis or on another vehicle. Like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you in the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.